Actually, Mr. Glenhill, that's not the only way we can store energy. Indeed not. Today, we're going to be using a brand new piece of equipment called an air track. If we turn on the electricity here, this provides power to the pump here. This drives air through the tube here. Small holes in the top surface of the air track let air escape here, 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 and here, here, and here. here here, 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 here. Air circulates around the inside of the air track. Some air will escape from the holes. This provides a frictionless air cushion for a puck to float upon. At the end of the air track, is an elastic buffering device. If we give the puck some kinetic energy, we can see what happens when it collides with the elastic buffering device. What are the energy changes happening here? And again in slow motion. Next week, where does electricity come from? But for now, goodbye. goodbye. I love kinetic energy, me. Wee!